Yo, what's up guys? We're back. This is Troy D. Thank you for uh, following the channel, guys. It's been an amazing, what, six months of just non-stop amazing action. Man, it's been crazy. I've been very privileged to smell a lot of fragrances that, you know, I wouldn't have been able to, really. Because now we have... It's, it's what they say in Instagram uh, or YouTube is that when you get over a thousand followers, you know, you basically have a community. And uh, although I may not know every single person out of the, you know, 2000 plus that we have right now, you guys, um, I'm starting to know a lot of you guys. And it's really interesting. Um, the messages that I've, you know, had with all sorts of uh subscribers that we've had and our new partners i want to thank you it's been really a wild amazing ride so anyways my job is to report my job is to bring to you guys whatever i find you know a lot of things are you know collectors youtube reviewers are so passionate about i want to find out if i've never heard of it then i i really do want to know and so today we're going to talk about a uh, a spirit of dubai now, Spirit of Dubai is uh, a fragrance uh, that is um, mostly people will say it's expensive to begin with, but it's gaining some traction within the mainstream crowd, I would say. And as a reviewer of niche scents and Middle Eastern scents, I want to definitely bring this brand to you guys, okay? So, uh, but this one here caught my attention because this was on one of my homies' uh, YouTube review. 10 out of 10 fragrances and I was like oh shoot you know because I was testing this spirit of Dubai I have a full bottle of a couple of them but this one wasn't on my full bottle list but I do have the you know the sample one man these sample packs from spirit of Dubai are expensive as well $100 for like a sample pack of uh, of spirit of Dubai and this gray f uh, little scroll little thing right here is none other than spirit of Dubai Abraj, okay, Abraj meaning beautiful eyes in Arabic. So this one right here was a top 10 or or number, you know, 10 out of 10 rather. No, not top 10. It was a top 10, 10 out of 10 fragrance by a friend of mine who also has an amazing uh, niche YouTube channel. His name is Sultan Sense. And ever since, you know, he brought this up on a couple top 10s, I mean, that has really caught my attention. And, you know, usually when, when I see the same fragrance featured um, on a, another top 10, that, that means it's serious, okay? So um, I really had to go through my stash and I was like, man, I got to bring out this uh, Spirit of Dubai Abraj. We got to find out why it's so amazing. We'll talk about it today, okay? So before we continue, we'll hit the music. Okay, we're back. Spirit of Dubai, Abraj. This is the fourth now out of the whole set of first generation that I've tried. Um, I had Maidan. As you guys know, we did a full bottle review of that one. Uh, I have Turath, which I uh, can't wait to tell you guys about that. I tried Rimal, which I can't wait to tell you guys about that. And then, like I told you guys, this one found out through Sultan Abraj. Abraj meaning beautiful eyes. Um... Let me just give you guys a quick lowdown about Spirit of Dubai. Spirit of Dubai, to me, you know, this is like, and I want Sultan to answer me here on the uh, comments, okay? For me, guys, almost all the Spirit of Dubai, almost all, okay, when I smell it, takes me back to Dubai, takes me back to my experience over there. I feel like it's so familiar you know what i mean it's so like the the scent is so like you could i could really remember it clearly that these are the scents at least i'm talking about rimal turath um and maidan i've smelled it all over the <laughs> wherever i went in the in the emirates i wh whether i'm at the dubai mall the mall of the emirates uh, uh palm jumeirah um mall uh mall of the emirates emirates palace it doesn't matter wherever I'm at, I can smell these scents. It's so, I mean, 
hate to say it, right? It's so common over there. Although it is intoxicating, I'll tell you that. That is the magic of Dubai. You know, it's not just what you see over there. It's not just the shopping, the sights balling out of control. But it's also the sense as you step into the malls, like all this stuff here, this Spirit of Dubai stuff, is all regular over there. It's on the regular. So you're always... You're always in this great trance when you're out there, you know. And I would say that um, all these Spirit of Dubai uh, fragrances, uh, I feel like these are those scents. And it's like, the thing I wonder is, you know, if that scent is common or it's just that everybody is on this Spirit of Dubai expensive stuff. You know what I mean? If every... All the, the 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 Emiratis and whoever's out there using this stuff is just really using it anyways, okay? If it's that big. I want to know. But I will tell you this, guys, that as a, as a person that goes to Dubai, it really smells very common over there, okay? That's all I got to say. But, of course, over here, nah. I mean, if you're here in the States, uh, these types of scents will teleport you, okay? So, Abraj, I would say... Out of all of the ones I've tried so far, in my opinion, is the most non-Middle Eastern spirit of Dubai so far, okay? Um, it is a wonderful spring-summer concoction that I feel like if this uh, fragrance right here made it out to, like, the mainstream, you know, it would get the same... Um, type of fanfare as say Oud for Greatness and the reason why I say that is because Oud for Greatness although has it has a medicinal Oud and uh, some Middle Eastern flair is really dominated by other notes uh, that make it very pleasing and it's it's quite the same here in Abraj okay so this one right here I would say you know the first when you spray it uh, you will get a dose of bergamot saffron cardamom rose okay and lavender okay so think about this guys Ber bergamot saffron cardamom some peppers rose lavender okay so just on the opening guys you're gonna get hit with this like sweet uh and quite sharp floral uh dose um and again these are very uh likable very known uh notes you know that people already love you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of those though so that's what i could say in the opening it is uh very uh sweet citrus um saffron rose hard in the first and i think that this matched with the lavender will give you guys the kind of like that whatever you experience with like i would say barbershop fougeres that uplifting when you smell the lavender it's like the same thing and don't forget that this one here has pink pepper and black pepper so that 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 first part i would say in abraj is a very saffrony uh citric um rosy and then a shot up of uplif uplifting which is basically the lavender uh and the pepper the cardamom is also there to provide the spice just a wonderful wonderful opening okay now after that it goes into uh the mid notes which is basically more rose woods uh geranium it goes there's violet there's violet in the mid notes but i would say that the rose here is also very prevalent it's not the old rose it's more of like like a jammy rose i would say um and it just keeps matching it up with uh the opening because there's 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 notes uh there's also mid notes of rose in abraj okay so you get rose mi mixed with a saffron bergamot pepper cardamom lavender combo with some greens in there um to me, right, to me, the reason why I brought up Oud for Greatness was just because like in Oud for Greatness, there's that saffron blast that just masks the Oud, you know. In this sense, the fruity uh, floral blast with the saffron sort of masks everything else. Whatever green notes this has, and you know, this has multitudes of notes, leather, um, 
you know, all of that stuff gets masked by this sort of like fruity, saffron, citric, you know, combo. And it's very strong, very uplifting, okay? Now, on the bass notes, it's got musk, amber, a heavy dose of patchouli. Uh, it's got oud, it's got sandalwood, benzoins, um, a lot of woods. I mean, those uh, the, the, the dry down is also quite important because it does provide a good base, especially the patchouli. Very nice patchouli, very nice amber, musk. Just complements the uh, the top notes and the middle notes, which are again pretty. You know, it's like a heavy dose, and also I would say that this heavy dose is uh, mass appealing, or I would say uh, user appealing. You know, it will be appealing to you. Maybe the only people I can say that probably won't like this is somebody that doesn't like a heavy dose of anything, right? Some people just love fragrances that slowly develop. That they don't have a heavy dose. This one right here, I mean, come on, you're buying Spirit of Dubai. If you're buying Spirit of Dubai, you kind of already know there's going to be a heavy dose or something. There's a heavy dose of the top notes and middle notes on this. Then eventually dries down to a wonderful patchouli, sandalwood, moss, uh, oak moss, uh, dried down. Uh, like I said, fruity, jammy, saffron, citric punch. Um, which to me, like I said, it will be very appealing to a lot of people. And like I said, this one right here is the most non-Middle Eastern to me. Okay. I mean, the other ones, like I told you guys, when I smelled it, I was like, this is Dubai. This one right here, uh, I'm not sure. This one here, I feel is worldwide appealing, you know, worldwide appealing. And, um, now I, you know, sort of understand why, um, why Sultan likes this one. It's definitely worldwide appealing, uh, in my opinion, okay? Now, I will say something, though, that this thing right here is not a beast like the other bros of Abraj, okay? I've tried Midan, I've tried Turath, I've tried Rimal. Those are all, man, crazy beasts, okay? Strong, like really room domination type thing. Um, a barrage right here, it seems like this is like a, a regular niche fragrance when it comes to the performance. I feel like this is just like, again, uh, maybe because it's the worldwide appeal, the mass appeal is just, yeah. I mean, it, it performs like a Zhirzhov or a Roja, but it's not as beastly as the other ones. That I can say, all right? And um, this one is absolutely beautiful for spring, summer. I think that it has enough uplifting uh notes in this enough saffron that you know a lot of guys love a lot of guys are into middle eastern fragrances they love the saffron the rose is not the played out rose it's like a jammy rose that goes with it i think this is a winner for a lot of people that want something different you may not get something different actually you might not get a different uh appeal you know you might not get it might be as the same appeal as some fragrances you own but it's nice to have. It's nice to have. It's nice to sample this just like I did and to find out uh, the magic of this this uh, Spirit of Dubai brand, okay? Uh, like I said before, this thing really transports me back. Really. Like, I really feel like I've smelled all of those fragrances every day that I was out there. So, again, my question is, is it because everybody's wearing the same Pro scent profile or are they wearing all spirit of dubai or it's just a common scent it, like there could be cheapies that smell like this i don't know okay that part i don't know but i will say this it really smells the same as whatever you smell in the air in dubai okay but a barrage right here is a worldwide like i'm talking about a, you know you don't have to be if you're not into middle eastern scents or, or any of that you can still buy this. You can still enjoy it. It's quite nice. And I see why it's at the 10 out of 10. Out of 10 um, that, that, that Sultan said. Okay. And check his uh, channel out. He's got a 10 out of 10. Which is a lot of bangers as well. Um, yeah. Uh, nice. It's, it's quite nice. Okay. I'm definitely going to put this on my spring summer hit list. So make sure you check out our spring summer hit list. There's almost 90 at this point. I believe 90 fragrances. 
man, if you can't make up your minds and you can't, you know, watch enough top tens from other reviewers and you want to check the niche versions, niche top for this spring summer, make sure you check that out. Okay. And don't forget to subscribe guys. All right. Thank you again for all the support. I want to thank uh, Noah right here who sent me the spirit of Dubai sample pack, got me into the house. Um, I will review Turath the uh, full bottle very, very soon. So watch out uh, on that. And again, thank you guys for watching. This is Troy D. Take care.